on the Curiosity rover. We needed to put a pattern into the wheels so that we could watch the wheels move on the surface and keep track of our progress. We call it odometry. We had a choice of putting any old pattern in there, so we put the letters J, P, L, in Morse code, representing the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, the place where she was born. When we build our spacecraft, we give them one arm, because frankly, we can't fit more than that on the front of the rover. And the rover has no one to hug. We have a rover compute element. We refer to it as the RCE. It's an old PowerPC 750 chip out of a G4 Macintosh. Your compute element controls everything on the rover, but your computer is going to have to be radiation hardened and survive, hopefully, for a few years on the surface of Mars. Levels of cosmic radiation on Mars are much higher than on Earth and would destroy normal computer electronics. So your rover's computer must be made of radiation-resistant materials, like sapphire and depleted boron. Each circuit board costs $200,000. There's two ways we communicate. We communicate directly with Earth. Earth's a very long ways, so we can only put a little bit of information down to Earth. But thankfully, we have some science orbiters in orbit around Mars. They're very close to us, and so we can put a lot of information up to them, and then they can beam down to Earth. The Curiosity rover's got 18 cameras. Cameras looking forward from the top of our mast. Cameras down low to make sure she doesn't run into rocks. Cameras in the back to make sure she doesn't back into rocks. A camera on the end of her arm. Let me make sure I just said that right. Two, four, 10, 12. Let me just do it again. I just want to make sure I get that right because we'll all hear about it back at the lab. 13, 14, 18. But the 17 are actual cameras and the 18th is a telescope that goes to a CCD, which I'm going to count as a camera. I still count on my fingers. We have a, a science instrument called SAM, Sample Analysis at Mars. You could almost think of that as the mouth. We put rocks in and SAM swirls it around a bit on its palate, almost like tasting wine. So it's looking for certain types of gases like methane and it's looking for carbon and it's looking for signs of water. Recently, we had this fantastic discovery. These dark streaks we see on the surface of Mars are actually briny, salty water flowing on the surface of Mars today. The idea that there's liquid water flowing on the surface of Mars is tantalizing to the question of whether Mars could harbor life. Our rover, Curiosity, is kind of perfectly named. She's standing in for us, all of us, our collective curiosity. There's many cool things about using robots to explore. They keep going. As we get tired or sick, we go to sleep, those robots just keep on going and going and going.